guys so um today i'm going to be showing you how you can pull off a bright orange lip this is super duper duper on trend right now everybody's wearing them and they're perfect for the summertime so if you want to see how i created this look and what would be flattering with orange lips then keep on watching so i've already kind of um prepped my face I have applied some moisturizer. I just used the plan, Playtone, Plantone, Playtone moisturizing face cream, and that was a few minutes ago before I did my hair and stuff. So you want to make sure that your moisturizer sits in, and then I also used a lip balm on my lips as well, just for it to set in, so that the application when we're doing our um, lip color won't be as. Um, It'll just be a lot smoother and you won't be able to see dry skin and stuff like that. King it Fix and Perfect from Rimmel. This is just going to minimize your pores and just make everything happy go lucky. So I'm just going to be using this um, with my fingers. You can use a brush if you want to. And it doesn't just have to be this primer. You can use whatever one works best for you. And use one that's going to um, kind of cater to your skin needs. If you have really oily skin, then you probably want to find one with some oil control. Or if you have really big pores, you might want to find one that could minimize that. I'm going to prime my eyes. This is the Urban Decay Primer Potion that I've just depotted. And it's in the color Eden, so it's going to kind of cover up any of those veins or anything that's in your eye. If you don't have this, you could just use your concealer. Um, that should work the same. This is just going to help our, our makeup last a little bit longer and help our color seem a little bit more vibrant. And then a little tip is to put it underneath like where your dark circles are that you're going to be putting concealer. And this will help it not crease or settle into the lines. Now our primer, our face primer should have set in by now. So I'm going to go into the foundation part. I'm going to be using ELF's Acne Fighting Foundation, but you can use whatever foundation that you want. Um, one that I've really been liking lately is the Flower Skin Cognito Stick Foundation. That's a really good one. So I'm going to be using this, and I'm going to be mixing it with a primer. Now, it doesn't have to be a primer. You don't have to mix your foundation with anything. But I want our skin to be really glowy, so I'm going to be using this because it's got a little bit of a luminous kind of glow. So I'm going to be mixing that in with my foundation and then just putting that onto my face. So I've just applied some of the foundation with my fingers throughout the middle of my face. And then I'm going to blend it in with my e.l.f. powder brush. Now the reason why I did that is because... Most of the time, you only need coverage in the center of your face, and then you can go back and spot conceal with, like, um, a concealer if you have, like, you know, some blemishes that are on the outer parts of your face. Um, I just like to do that because most of the time, people aren't going to be looking anywhere on your face except for the center of your face. So, you can kind of get away with a little bit less makeup on the outer parts. I'm going to be using the Benefit Erased Paste um, Brightening Camouflage for Eyes and Face. I've already applied a little bit of the Benefit Erased Paste under my eyes. This is just going to brighten everything up and I'm kind of going to be using this as a concealer. If you have a really um, dark areas like on the tops of your eyes, you can use that um, to kind of counteract with that and it should cover that up. But um, I'm just going to stop with there with that. And then I'm going to powder. I'm going to be using the NYC Colorwell Mosaic Face Powder in Translucent Highlighter Glow to set underneath my eyes. I'm just going to be taking this random brush. I think it's from Mary Kay. For bronzer, I'm going to be taking my old little trusty um, e.l.f. Healthy Glow Matte Bronzing Powder. And this is, in the this is in the color matte bronze. It's a really dark color, but... If you apply it really lightly, it just looks really, really good. For blush, I'm going to be using Elf's Blush in Tickled Pink. And I'm just going to be applying this 
right here back behind my cheekbones right above that contour and you can see that I'm applying it a little bit on my nose as well and that's just going to help give more of a realistic you know look that you're actually blushing now for highlighter I'm going to be using this eyeshadow actually it's called Aloha it's from NYX and it's just like a, a light um, pinky kind of white based highlighter color that's really nice shadow um, you don't have to do this part. I'm just really, really big on really glowy skin, and it seems like I can't ever live without having some type of glow to my skin, so that's why I'm using this. But if you don't like um, glowy or highlighted skin, you don't have to. I'm going to start off by tight lining my eyes, and I usually don't do eyeliner first, but for this look, I think that, um, I don't know, I just have always done eyeliner first with this look. So I'm using the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Black Fever. It's kind of like backwards um, water lining. I'm just going to slightly kind of add a little bit of a contour shape. I'm going to be using my Matrix palette. I used this in my last tutorial. And I'm going to take this color. It's called Brown Stone. So make sure that this is really blended because you don't want it to be super obvious that you put a brown shadow in your crease. This is just going to help add some definition to your eyes and you know, not make it seem so um, flat or one-dimensional. I'm just going to take this color. It's called Sand Castle. And I'm going to use my finger and just press that all over the lid. And then I'm going to go in with some eyeliner. I'm going to be using Glash Food. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just lightly flick this out. I'm just going to be curling my eyelashes. This is just a random one um, from e.l.f. and I really like this eyelash curler. For mascara I'm going to be using Calvin Klein One Mascara. I've talked about this before. I absolutely love it. two orangey colors that I'm going to be um, applying for you guys today. The first one is my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Antwerp, Antwerp. And then the other one that I'm going to be showing you is more of a bright, bright, bright orangey color. And this is Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in the color Audacious 245. So I'm going to start off with the NYX one, the lighter color of the two. I don't like a super defined lip line, but if you do, you can just take a lip brush, such as this one, and then just get a little bit of that product on there to define it more, but I like mine to be a little bit more softer and a little bit more blended because I don't have super big lips so I think that it creates the illusion that your lips are a little bit bigger if you just kind of soften the lip line out and instead of having it really defined. So here is what option number one looks like. I really like this one. I think this is a good color for if you want to start getting into more of that orangey lip um, color or trend, but you're not, you know, really used to wearing like bright orange lips. For your second choice, again, this is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in Audacious. So 
So this is what this looks like. Um, both of the colors that I used were matte, but you can put some lip gloss on those if you don't want it to be um, matte. There are lots of glossy um, orange lips on the runway as well. So, um, yeah. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Of course, you can always um, make the colors lighter or brighter, or you could even, um, you know, make it a little bit more of a different tone. If you're more comfortable with pinks, then you could just make it like a pinky orange, or you could go even lighter than this to make yourself more comfortable. I would say that if you are just beginning to start wearing bold lips, it can be a little intimidating. So you, um, it would probably make yourself more comfortable if you started out with a little bit of lighter shades and then just worked your way up to a bold lip is to just kind of wear around your house. And then you can get more confident about it and comfortable with it and then you'll feel a little bit better wearing it out. So um, yeah, make sure that you guys subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye! On Page, no, page, no. <sighs> there are too many animals in my room right now. Never doing this again while I'm filming. And I've got like five animals on my lap. Dun 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 Oh no oh, I'm God. just going to put this underneath Okay.